know how you've probably built a few memory palaces. Real palaces from your life, your home, your school, your favourite cafe, your favourite library, whatever. But what happens when you run out of real places? Today, we level up. That's a pun, not just cringy commentary. You're going to learn how to create false locations, entirely imagined environments to expand your memory palace network infinitely. It's the ultimate creative hack for your serious memory athletes. And today, it's yours. So can you really store reliable memories in a place that doesn't technically exist. Yeah. End of the video. <laughs> Here's why. Right? Your brain doesn't distinguish between real and imagined spatial environments when you're encoding information. Right? If a location is 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 vivid, is detailed, is spatially structured, the hippocampus treats it just like a real place. In neuroscience, it connects to spatial memory and scene construction, processes that activate your parietal lobe and your retrosplenial cortex, even when imagining places you've never been to. This means you can invent an underground library, a, a, a sky-floating dojo, or a or a neo-noir cyberpunk alley, and your memory system will still anchor data to it, just like it would in your childhood bedroom. Let's build one, right? First, pick a theme. Make it interesting. A, a wizard's tower, a, a spaceship, a, a haunted hotel. Choose something that you'll never forget because you're interested. Think emotional salience. Design five to ten stations. These are your memory loci, places within the location where you'll store your information. Uh, if you're in the wizard's tower, you might do the cauldron room, the spell bookshelf, the, the, the glowing stairwell, the observatory, the dragon's perch, right? Define the landmarks. Each station should have rich textures, colors, sounds, movements. The more senses you use, the more anchor points you get. Then walk it. In your mind, mentally rehearse walking through the space. Make it consistent. The route should always follow the same pattern, just like in a real building. Now you've got a custom reusable palace that no one else on earth has except you so shock horror here's another challenge for you invent one brand new memory palace that has nothing to do with real life give it a theme five to ten stations right then store a list of ten uh, uh historical facts or foreign language words that you're learning or quotes whatever and then tomorrow revisit the location and see how much you've retained. It not only expands your memory palace network, potentially infinitely, but it also exercises your imagination, your spatial recall, and your mental rotation skills. Your memory isn't limited by geography that way. I'm starting to step into a magic magic trick trailer now. It's only limited by your imagination, but it's technically true. So build the impossible. Walk through it daily, and soon your mind will feel like a kingdom of infinite rooms, each one holding the knowledge that makes you unstoppable.